we divided this in six phases. We have the setup phase where we put everything in place, then the prepare and level zero phase. Afterwards, we roll forward with incremental backups. Then we get downtime before phase four, because phase four is then the final incremental backup. In the phase five, we do the transport, and in phase six, we clean up. So let us start here with the creation of our target environment. And this can be a database or a pluggable database, doesn't matter. As you remember, compatible, equal, or higher than the source, identical database character sets, identical national character sets, identical time zone versions, and identical database time zone settings. And with that setup, we can start. What we need is we need the v4, that's version 4 Perl scripts for transportable table spaces from this My Oracle support node. So it's a zip file at the end of the node. You download that zip file, you unzip it, and you will find those seven files then on disk. What do I do? I have two options. First of all, the standard method supported by these scripts is doing a backup from my table spaces. And when I use the backup approach, I need staging space because backup and restore and convert can't happen in one pass. So first up is the backup. The backup gets written into a staging space. And from there, we grab it, we restore it. And while we restore it, we convert it as well. So it's a two-phase approach. And always remember that staging space. In the Perl script dictation or notation, we'll use XTD driver PL minus minus backup and minus minus restore for these actions. The other method where we officially don't support it anymore with the V4 scripts, even though it still works, it's still in the code, but you don't get official support, and sometimes it can be smoother and easier for you, is the DBMS file transfer method. So in this case, we use XTD driver PL minus uppercase S and uppercase G. So for the backup and convert phase and the restore, but the I would say the benefit of the DBMS file transfer method is you don't need staging space because it can do everything in one pass. Uh, it, the conversion happens as part of this process. So this is quite convenient, quite nice, but officially not supported with the Perl scripts anymore because there's a limitation for DBMS file transfer, two terabyte per file size. You would say now, hey, wait, my database is just 600 gigabytes. You're free to use that. But believe me, in practical environments, when we go in the hundreds of terabyte databases, you rarely find databases with just files up to two terabytes. I've seen files up to 50 terabyte, one single file already. And then it doesn't help you. So you decide, and we follow here the standard approach with backup, restore, convert. So next step is we need to configure the process. And the process gets configured by editing the XTT properties file. This defines now all the pointers, all the definitions for our process. And this is the part you have to do here. The table spaces in our example, you see we have just simply two table spaces, TBS1 and TBS2. Platform ID, you remember, V$ transportable platform tells you the platform ID for your platform, and it's the platform of the source environment here. Then we need the locations where we write the backups to. And ideally, this is a mount, a shared mount from both sides. It can be a ZFS file system, an NFS, whatever is convenient and works in your environment. And we need also to define the destination data file location. This is where we finally, after conversion, restore into. Here, also the ASM home and the ASM SID and parallel the default, I think, is just two. So if you have compute power, then increase that and also roll forward in parallel here too is the default. So these things need to be defined. And once you are done with that, you make this file and the entire package you download it available on both sides. So both need the exact same files in the exact same subdirectory. 